Hello everyone. Now let us start with the spectrophotometric estimation. The titrations in which the endpoint is determined by the measurement of the absorption of light by the solution is known as photometric titrations. This absorbance of the light is measured using photometric colorimeter or the spectrophotometer. So here the sample solution is taken into a sample cell of the colorimeter and the radiation of a desired wavelength is applied on the solution. So the absorbance of the light takes place by the solution and it is measured. So based on the measured absorbance value, we can determine the concentration of the unknown solution which is placed in the sample cell. In spectrophotometric estimation, titrant is added gradually to the solution and there is a change in the absorbance value observed as the concentration of a solution changes. So with every addition of the titrant value, the absorbance value is measured and based on that we can determine the concentration of the unknown solution given. Now according to Lambert Beer's law, we have the equation A is equal to epsilon CT. We have already derived this equation. You can watch this video. In such estimation, epsilon and T is a constant and hence we can say that absorbance is directly proportional to the concentration. So as the concentration of the solution changes, absorbance value will also change. And on plotting a graph of absorbance versus volume of the titrant, the endpoint is determined from the graph and hence we can determine the concentration of the unknown solution. Such type of graph of titration depends upon the reactant, titrant and product. Reactant or the substrate is the solution whose concentration is to be determined titrant or the estimating reagent is the solution of known concentration and the product which is obtained by the reaction between these two. The shape of the graph obtained depends upon the optical characteristics of the reactant, titrant and product. So depending upon the absorbance value of these following type of the photometric curves are obtained. So let us start with the first type that is deficiency of absorbance by titrant and product or the name can be given as absorbance of the radiation only by the reactant. So first thing is we will write the optical characteristic of all these three that is the reactant, reagent and the product which is formed. So in this case the titrant does not absorb the radiation and the product also does not absorb the radiation whereas only the reactant which is taken absorbs the radiation. Okay, so initially the color of the solution is due to the reactant that is taken. On adding reagent, the product which is formed gives the optical characteristics or the color to the solution. But here in this case, the product shows no absorbance of the radiation. This shows that the product is colorless. So initial value of the absorbance is due to the reactant, which is because of the colored solution, which is uh, relatively we will see in the graph that is higher. But on adding the reagent and uh, simultaneously the formation of the product shows no absorbance characteristics and hence the value will decrease and after the end point where we say the reactant is consumed completely by the reagent that is added and complete formation of the product has occurred so now there is no more reactant in the solution to react and form the product so initially here what we see is initial absorbance it can be shown from here say absorbance value is higher because the reactant shows the optical characteristics meaning the reactant is colored. So absorbance value is higher initially because of the reactant on adding reagent which shows no optical characteristics and the product also does not show the optical characteristic the graph shows the decrease in the absorbance value till all the reactant is consumed for the reaction with the formation of a product. After the end point on adding reagent, now the graph shows a straight line that is the absorbance value is a constant value because the reagent here does not show the optical characteristics. That means there is a deficiency of absorbance by the reagent which is added. So the graph obtained is of this type. Okay. Now let us see the second type where type 2 is the deficiency of absorbance by the reactant and product. So reactant does not absorb, reagent or the titrant that is added 
shows the absorbance characteristics and the product which is formed also does not show the absorbance. So initially the color of the solution is due to reactant which is not showing any absorbance so it is colorless. Adding reagent the product is formed which also does not show the absorbance but the reagent that is added shows the absorbance characteristics. So we can see a slight colored solution and after the end point the color of the solution is only due to the reagent that is added. This you can remember after the end point the graph uh, in the graph we get the uh, line is due to only the reagent optical characteristic of the reagent that is added. So here we see the colorless reactant which does not show absorbance. Adding reagent also does not show the increase in the absorbance because ultimately the uh, value is due to the product showing the absorbance but here the product does not show absorbance so it is the uh, same absorbance value till the end point. After the end point when all of the reactant is utilized and the product is obtained the reagent when it is added the reagent shows the optical characteristic that means the reagent is colored so there is a increase there is an increase in the absorbance value shown in the graph third type is the deficiency of absorbance by reactant and reagent so reactant does not absorb reagent also does not absorb but the product which is formed shows the absorbance characteristics so reactant initially taken shows no absorbance, reagent added also does not show absorbance but the product obtained shows the absorbance characteristics. In the graph we can see initially the absorbance value is due to reactant which does not show optical characteristics so it is colorless. Adding reagent also uh, it does not show but the product obtained shows the absorbance characteristics so it shows the increase in the curve initially till the end point till the complete uh, formation of the product is obtained after the end point when the reagent is added as here reagent does not show any absorbance characteristics it shows a straight line in the graph so this is the type 3 where there is a deficiency of absorbance of the radiation by the reactant and reagent type 4 is the deficiency of absorbance by product so there is only the absorbance of the radiation by the reactant and reagent whereas the product obtained does not show any absorbance. So initially the reactant which is taken shows the absorbance value and after the end point the reagent added also shows the absorbance characteristics. So initially the absorbance value is higher as the reactant shows the absorbance characteristic it is colored. Adding reagent the product which is obtained does not show absorbance characteristics show, so it goes on decreasing till the end point or complete formation of the product. After the end point the reagent which is added shows the absorbance characteristics and hence it is shown by the increase in the graph. So this all are the uh, types of the photometric graph. Thank you.